Baseball Rules Academy presents Baseball Rule of the Week. When a runner tries to advance on an infield fly, can he do that? Yes, but it's at his own risk. On an infield fly, the runners have options. A runner can go back to the bag. That's the recommended thing. He can run to the next base hoping the ball is dropped. Or he can tag up when the catch is made. But let's take the advice of Ted Barrett. All right, let's have, let's have an infield fly here and see what happens. Infield fly, batter's out. All right, now as a runner, you've got to know when you hear infield fly, you actually are on your own. You should go back to the bag. If you don't, you advance at your own risk. So if the ball's dropped and you take off for the next base, the force is removed and you could be tagged out. If the ball's caught and you take off for third base and you didn't tag up legally, you can get a double play. So as a runner, when you hear the umpire call infield fly, it's best to go back to your base. All right, so let's review. On an infield fly that is caught, the runner may advance at his own risk, but the runner must tag up, and then since there's no force play, he must be tagged out. If the infield fly is dropped, the runner may advance at his own risk, but remember, there's no force play, so he must be tagged. Let's take a look. Infield fly, batter's out. Now in this situation, the umpire called infield fly. The ball was still alive and in play. It's the responsibility of the third baseman to tag that runner. So on this play, the runner is safe. Infield fly, batter's out. Now in this situation, we had an infield fly. The runner from second tried to advance to third. The ball was still alive and in play, so the batter's out. And since the third baseman did a great job of tagging this runner, he's out too. Want more rules information? Find any rule right here at BaseballRulesAcademy.com Your number one source for rules of the game.